Particle accelerators are machines that propel charged particles at incredible speeds, generally to collide with other particles. They are there to advance physics and deepen our understanding of the universe if you're a scientist, and to create a black hole that will wipe out humanity if you're a tabloid newspaper from the 1990s. When particles collide at high speed, it's highly advisable that the particles should not be part of your head. While this may seem obvious to you or I, one man learned this the hard way when he shoved his head into a particle accelerator. On July 13, 1978, particle physicist Anatoly Bogorsky was working on his job at the U-70 synchrotron, the largest particle accelerator in the Soviet Union. The 36-year-old was inspecting a piece of equipment that had malfunctioned when the accident happened. Unbeknownst to him, several safety mechanisms had also failed. None of his colleagues had taken the time to tell him something along the lines of, the safety mechanisms aren't working, so don't go jamming your head into the accelerator meaning that when he leaned over to get a good look at his task, a proton beam shot right through the back of his head at close to the speed of light, or at least closer to the speed of light than you'd like a proton to be traveling at when it goes straight through your face. At first, he felt no pain. He knew what had happened though, because he'd seen a light brighter than a thousand suns. He also knew the gravity of the situation. When something shoots through your face close to the speed of light, you tend to realise doctors will see this as much more serious than an owie or a boo-boo. At this point, he didn't tell a soul. Whether due to shock or he just didn't want to make a fuss, he merely completed his day's work before heading home and waited for the inevitable to happen. Now, absorbing five greys of radiation would usually lead to death. Though he didn't yet know it, he'd been hit with between two to three thousand greys. In terms of the video game Fallout, we're looking at preemptively joining the mutant faction. In the night, his face began to swell beyond recognition, prompting him to visit the doctors the following morning. From there, he was taken to a clinic in Moscow, though largely so that his death could be observed, rather than for any expectation that his life could be saved. No record survives of whether the staff were polite enough not to ask why he stuck his head in the particle accelerator in the first place. Um. And over the next few days, his skin peeled off around the entry and exit wounds, showing a clean path burned right through his skin, skull, and brain. Remarkably, he didn't die. The brain tissue continued to burn away over the ensuing years, which isn't exactly ideal, and his face became paralysed on the left side, whereas hearing was also lost. Weirder still, as he aged, the right side of his head showed more signs of ageing than his left. Over the next few decades, he experienced seizures, but remained functional, continued his work as a physicist, and completed a PhD. As far as people who have put their heads into a particle accelerator go, and to be fair, that is a demographic of one, he was pretty lucky. The narrow focus of the beam, though it caused massive damage, likely kept the damage limited to an area of the brain he could live without. For the decade after his accident, he was unable to tell anyone about it due to the notorious secrecy of the Soviet Union. He survived well beyond the end of the USSR, however. In fact, the man who put his head into a particle accelerator and lived to tell the tale, remains alive to this day.